How you doing guys? This is Joe with LVV. We're working on a Fujitsu mini split down here. We got about 350 PSI. Doing a uh, elite test. Check it out. Wait for it. There you go. That's where the leak is coming out of. Not out of any of the other ones. Everything else is good except for this main line right here. We're getting some of the bubbles. Okay, and you see here that it kind of cut the line. That might be a little indication of why it's happening, or it's just a bad flare. So we're gonna cut it, reflare it, retighten it, vacuum it down, and recharge. All right, guys. So we have uh, the line separated. Flare doesn't look too bad. It probably just maybe came undone. So what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna, since since we're here, I'm just gonna cut it, reflare it, and then. Uh, we're gonna put it right back on. Then we'll vacuum the unit and then charge her up. All right, guys, so we're gonna flare this using the spin flare tool. Spin flare tool. All right, so I'm gonna put this right here. All right, it heats up, it expands, it makes it into a perfect flare. All right, Blake's gonna uh, film it. Here you go, just on the floor, it's fine. Makes a 80% uh, flare, and then it makes like an 80% flare, and then when you tighten it up, it flares the rest of the way. So it's like custom, they say, to the actual uh, the nipple. Okay, so I'll see it goes here. And then it'll press up the rest of the way. All right, guys. So we're using the uh, the Blackman torque wrench here. This is an awesome tool for mini splits. We set this at 48 pounds because that's a three quarter. And the specs is 48 pounds, so it'll, it'll let us know right when we get the 48 pounds of torque so we don't over tighten or under tighten the joint. All right, guys, so we're just doing a pressure test. We're at 350 psi. There's no bubbles coming through. You always have a little bubbles from the air outside, but. I think we're all good. And my bottle's starting to give out on me, of course. Come on. Yeah, I think we're okay. See, there's a little line there, guys. I'm not sure if you can see that. They might have cut it when they were trying to do the flares and everything. I think we're good. No real bubbles. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Right, so I think it's his last day right there. All right, so we're gonna vacuum this down, charge it up, get it back up and running. All right, guys, so we got this unit up and running. Okay, Fujitsu. Not sure if you can hear that. That's the fan going. Uh, they redid the siding, so someone screwed it up. So they moved it around the pipes. It must have loosened up or cracked the fitting, whatever. So we did the vacuum to it. Bore it down to a 300 vacuum. Charged it up with four pounds and 10 ounces, which is right there. Right there, four pounds, 10 ounces. So that's what you're gonna normally put in unless it's an extremely long line set. And then it'll say like 0.6 ounces for every foot after say, I don't know, 25 or 50 or something like that, whatever the book says. All right, so units up and running. They had a leak right up there. We reflared, put it together, put the vacuum pump on, recharged and all set. See you guys next time.